most, most political poems have got a, a use by date. They tend to die when the, uh, when the politicians end their, uh, their scene, come go over the scene. But John wrote this wonderful, wonderful poem, and although the politicians are no longer in the political field, the poem deserves to be told. You can sit there and look patronising. You can sneer with your upper lip curl. If I'd have been Tony Blair's mother, we'd live in a much safer world. I'd have carefully monitored friendships that my little Tony might forge. I'd have warned him, keep out of bad company, and I don't want you playing with George. Like his father, he's far too aggressive. He'll just get you into a fight. And Tony, I know he can't help it, but George is not very bright. So Tony, take heed of your mother. I warn you, you're risking a smack. If you don't take to heart what I'm saying, wash your face and stay out of Iraq. It's not a suitable playground. No matter what Georgie might say, he's just a dumb little bully with whom you're forbidden to play. Now, Tony might turn on a tantrum, the way lots of naughty boys do. I want to play Salter with Georgie. Don't have to listen to you. But I'd have been firm and insistent. A good mother doesn't give in. I'd have known for the sake of the planet that this was a fight I must win. If I'd have been Tony Blair's mother, Tony would not be so glib. He'd be just a little more thoughtful and less prone to fudge and to fib. He'd be as inclined to go soldiering, to toady, to power and wealth. He'd stay home and fix up the railways, the schools and the national health. He'd have learned a bit more about Bevan and old Labour leaders before. And he wouldn't be mixing with George Bush. And he wouldn't be going to war. Join me.